go over it and over it. I'm like, oh, nine plus I had to hold my arm above my head, so my whole right arm was numb. Screw that. So, nope. but it was, like I said, it was fine. Paul, fine. Paul was really funny. He does great work. He talks to you about it. Like, he had me laughing so hard over an episode of Parks and Rec. Like, I'd never really seen it. I've seen a couple episodes, but he had me, like, dying laughing. But then he's like, hold still. And I'm like, well, stop making me laugh. <laughs> you know, and there was another guy getting a tattoo because they had some Halloween special. But, I mean, the place is awesome. Like, the staff couldn't be friendlier. Um, I know it's a bit of a hike, but, I mean, anybody who's like, oh, do you recommend any tattoo places? I'm like, go to 5 all. I'm like, it's clean. You know they're up to code. And they do good work. Right. I'm like, you can't, you can't, because I know people who are out in the suburbs who go, you know, to Chicago to get tattoos. You have people who go to other states to get tattoos. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. like, Daniel Feingold went to California a few years ago. Wow. Yeah. I bet he was probably already out there, though, or he'd just go to no, get tattoos. No, he flew, no, he flew, he flew out. out. What did he do, get it done by Kit Von D? No. No, no. I don't even know. It was, a, it was the one that he got on his arm of his uncle. Okay. The one with the red tie, with the red tie and, uh, like, like, the fedora looks like. Yeah. Whatever the case, that's hey, what I'm saying. Yes, I'm We got uncle tattoos. Hey. That's what my other one is. It's a, a eagle. Because eagles were my uncle's favorite animal. Because he also had an eagle tattoo on his arm. And then I had his, his dates on there. Okay. So yeah. that was my first one. Everybody thought I was nuts because I put it like on my ribs partially and then right by my hip bone. And they're like, that's your first one? And I'm like, well, where else am I going to put it? Because mm-hmm. like, Paul kept trying to convince me to put it on my thigh. And I'm like, no. I just feel like a big bird on my leg. No. <laughs> Might as well tattoo a big bird on there. <laughs> so, but yeah, that place, I love it. Like, I've gotten three from there, and I already have more in the works. So I want to get um, Yandu's arrow that he has from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, like, all the girls yeah. have those, like, arrow tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The basic That's ones. I'm like, I'm like, no, I want to get Yandu's arrow. I'm going to do that instead. And Paul's like, dude, you got to do it. And I'm like... Well, let me heal on this one. Save up some more money. I'll come back. Right. Like I just got This the one. This one on my leg was two fifty. This Not one was two hundred, and I think this one was like thirty or forty. Not bad. No, they're, they don't. I don't think they have a shop minimum, which is cool. So, but yeah. Yeah, so there's the free commercial for them. Right. Yeah, I yeah. already told them. I told them. Oh, that's about great. It. All right. Publicity. Man. Get you, get you maybe a nice discount on the next one. Yeah, you know, apparently. Podcast. Well, they stopped doing the punch cards, so I would have, I'd be almost on my way to like a free tattoo, like a Ooh. small one, because they used to be like, if you got five, you get like a discount or something yeah. on the next one. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't know. I asked. They switched things. You should encourage it. I should. I'd be like, I've gotten three. Where's my, where's right. my discount? Can I get a, like 50% off the fourth one? Yeah. Or nah. even the fifth one? Yeah. Even the fifth one. Oh, yeah. So, but it hurts. Um, <laughs> she said it hurts. I yeah. woke up Friday and I'm like, oh God, what is this? Because I always, I forgot for some dumb reason that it hurts really bad the next day. Because that's how my, my side one was. I woke up and it felt like I just did like 300 sit-ups. And I was like trying to like roll out of bed because um, like it, it felt like I just did a million sit-ups and I couldn't crunch anymore. So this one hurt to walk and every time I stood up, it was like, oh, somebody help just because like when you stand and your muscles all the blood tight. rushes yeah. and then your muscles tighten and then it's like no and you can like when you stand straight up your calf your calf the skin it, it stretches because yeah. to feel to feel the and muscle. i haven't and i haven't been yeah. able to work out either because i didn't want to like rip it yeah. you know so like i like the last week i got it done on thursday so i had done monday tuesday wednesday workouts and then i obviously didn't do thursday friday saturday so what i'm gonna do this week since it, it feels loads better I'm going to do that week all over again because I'm supposed to like go on to the next week. I'm just going to do that one all over again. I'm like, I only got halfway through. I'm like, I'm just going to start over and just add on another week at the end because I'm like, if, <laughs> if I try and do it now, because I'm only supposed to have like one rest day a week. I'm right. like, I've already had two. Yeah. I'm like, I keep, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be all jacked up if I, you know, so I'm like, I'll just start over yeah. because I honestly don't think I did that well the first three days anyway. For sure, yeah. No. So, no, I, feel you. I didn't really do that great. So, what have you been doing, though? Because you Man. look awesome. <laughs> Let me tell you. Because uh, I haven't seen you in I don't know how long. It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a, while. a few years. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing? Well, the first the first thing I did, uh, I, just, I cut sugar out. Okay. I cut, I cut a lot of sugar out. I, I was a fiend for chocolate. Oh, yeah. You know, chocolate, you know, Twizzlers are my thing. Ooh. Uh, yeah. 
donuts, yeah. cookies, cake, all, all the shit like that. Uh, yes, I mean any anything that, that wasn't nailed down and was chocolate, I was taking it. <laughs> Put it like that. Um, and then it got to a point. I mean, and then and it was it was like something psychological that triggered in me too. Like when my mom passed, mm-hmm. um, health reasons, and my mom had been overweight her entire life. You know okay. what I'm saying? So me growing up, I was a, I was always a chubby kid. I was a chubby kid in grammar school. Uh, but I ended up translating that to football. So I ended up gaining some type of athleticism and mm-hmm. as well as, you know, the ability to work out, the ability to lose weight, burn fat, build muscle, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that it, that was never lost on me. Okay. But <clears throat> uh, dating, dating, dating back to like 2012, okay. 2013, that, that, those two years were, was kind of rocky for me because I lost my grandmother in 20, 2012. And I was dating Nidra Slaughter at that time. Uh, And we had ended things like that summer, like that July, whatever the case may be. So I was in a bad spot mentally and whatever the case may be. Physically, I didn't want to do shit. So, of course, I blew up. And I really didn't realize it until my first year as a supervisor. Okay. Um, Congrats on your third year. I never did congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, But, yeah, just, you know... Just, just looking back, like I, I really gained, I really gained a lot of weight, and it, it, I, it, something told me I was like, I need to, I need to make a change. I need to do something different, something different. Mm-hmm. So I just started cutting shit out. I started getting more physical, more active, and being at Wrigley definitely helps oh, because yeah. since I'm in the fucking bleachers every day, mm-hmm. you're walking around. Yeah, in the hot ass sun most of the time. I'm, I'm burning weight, burning calories, calories, you know, shedding fat, like all, all the things I need to do. On a daily basis, including uh, working out as well. Okay. Uh, so I don't have like a routine or anything. But it still works. Yeah, you know, like I've, I've but, changed. But even like even just cutting out things like sugar, yeah. pop, you know, like yeah. if you go out and drink or whatever, like if you're gonna have a mixed drink or a beer, you know, like watch how many you have, or if you're gonna have a mixed drink, get like Coke Zero or something, exactly. something like not not Diet Coke. Diet Coke's still bad for you, but like Coke Zero or. <laughs> Something yeah. just to kind of watch your sugar intake because exactly. I mean you know back to you know alcohol training Wrigley yeah you know yeah. shots do count oh shots count a lot uh, they count a lot they count as much as a beer yeah but I mean you know you still got to kind of watch I mean you know hey, that's everybody true. overindulges like I overindulged at a wedding this summer hey. the first time I had really drank I don't know how long you know and I didn't it didn't take much I was just sticking to wine I wasn't gonna you know. Stick to wine, but like it did not take much because I had I had such a deficit from it, and I kind of just stopped altogether. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, every weekend I'd be like, yeah, let's have some wine, let's have some wine. You want to come over and have some wine? Let's have some wine. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no wonder I look like this. Yeah. I, I don't know uh, if you you saw my before and after the other day. I was looking. I'm like, yeah, you 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 definitely forming. You like you you getting you getting it's all, all in here. You getting you getting right like. But like you never notice sometimes until you look. At what yeah. you used to look like, because then it's like, oh damn, yeah, that that was me. Because like, I, obviously, like the people I worked with, like people you worked with, probably really didn't start noticing until like a few months later when yeah. they started really showing yeah. the difference. But like people at work really didn't notice because I'm always you know petite, but it's like you saw me every day. Yeah. You know, to them it's like I just filled out, I guess. But I'm like, all I know is, like, I saw this coming in. And I'm like, and then I saw these coming in. And this. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Nah. No, nah, this ain't going to fly, honey. Because, like, I one of my friends, he was like, I can't even imagine if you, like, got pregnant. He's like, you'd just be all belly. And I'm like, yeah, I probably <laughs> would until, like, month eight when you, like, balloon. Like, Kamaria. Kamaria would. She oh, yeah, all, she, yeah, she, she was, was all, all belly. belly. And she's all, still skinny. Yeah, she snapped way back. <laughs> but, like... like you know, like, it, it's just amazing, but you, like, you did it, man. Like, I am so happy about this. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still working. Um, you know, uh, it's a process. I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at now. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I've actually gotten back into, I'm in, getting into a routine. Mm-hmm. Uh, some old football training that Ooh. I used to do. So, uh, that's probably going to help me gain a lot of muscle. So, just be on the lookout for, for what I'm probably going to look like a few months from now. Oh, excited! You, uh, and then you, and then of course you have Rocky to help too, because taking him out all the time. Rocky has me running around everywhere. Uh, See, he darted out the house earlier today. 
uh, he didn't go anywhere. He ran to the end of the hall, into the, he's inside the gate. Oh, okay. The back gate was open. So I was like, do not run out there. Don't do it. Come here. And he just, he ran and then stopped. And the reason why he was right there because there was another dog across the alley in the yard. Oh. And that dog just barked at him. He just lost his shit, flip shit. But he uh, thinks he's tough. Yeah, he, he, he always thinks he's tough. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's mainly what I've been working on as far as like physical changes. Uh, mentally, I'm just working on music, writing. Yeah, so uh, what's going on with that? Because you told me you're making some music. Yeah, uh, so I want to say maybe earlier this year, uh, something hit me. Someone mm-hmm. was like, I, I love music. Like, Oh, yeah. I just, I dig into me. I'm probably uh, one of the most, like, indulged in, like, hip-hop, jazz, R&B, like, that that whole scene. And mm-hmm. anything dealing with hip-hop, R&B, jazz, I'll know it, you know? And even then, some, like, contemporary, alternative shit like that. Okay. Um, but then something inside, inside in my mind was like, you, you, you want to do this yourself, don't you? And yeah. I'm, I'm enticing myself. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you, you want to do this. You want to fucking do this. So I'm like, I, I, I'll do it. I'll try it. So my buddy, a buddy of mine lives across, across the street from me. And he, his girlfriend moved out. So he had an extra bedroom. Okay. So he flipped that bedroom into a studio. He has equipment in there and everything now. So I go over there and we work on stuff and we sit and write. Sometimes we'll go in and, We'll work on a beat, or sometimes we'll go in and sit and just write, or sometimes we'll go in there and sit and talk. But anything we do, it like it pertains to the project. Okay. There's so, work going on every time you're right. in there. Okay. Uh, I won't disclose the title of the project on the podcast no. because that's gotta be surprise. Right. That's that's a surprise. Uh, I won't even put a date that I'm gonna drop it. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna drop it and tell know, everybody and be like, hey. You know, I'll be the first one to be listening. You know, so um, I will say though, it'll be it'll be eight tracks. Okay. Eight tracks in, in full. Uh, uh, maybe maybe some instrumentals will be included. Oh uh, yeah, what, what kind of what kind of like styling do you got going on? So I'm um, I'm looking to fuse R and B, uh, neo soul. I want to bring neo soul back because you know not a lot of artists. I don't know if you're familiar with like Slum Village, mm-hmm. uh, Tribe Call Quest. You know those like oh yeah. So, I'll have to check them out though, so I know what you're, what yeah. you're bringing to the table here. Yeah, so like, though, like that, people, people like those guys, like even, even reminiscent of Mac Miller, because Mac Miller was a very boom bap instrumental enthusiast, like Logic is. You know, okay. I want to, I want to get on that level, but fuse that with jazz, R and B, neo Ooh. soul, hip hop. I love when people fuse jazz into stuff. So you know, I, I, that's that's what I'm working on. Working with a lot of like trumpet sounds, a lot of brass. Yeah. Yes. So I, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. That's the kind of stuff I can get behind. Yeah. So. Anything that adds instruments into it, I'm all, like, not just, like, you know, guitar, bass, drums, like, oh, yeah. other ones. <laughs> That's why I love street lights. So yep. Much. yep. But, I am very excited. Like, you are going to have to let me know when this drops because oh, sure. I'm going to be downloading or <laughs> listening to it or buying it or whatever you want me to do. Because For sure. I'm always about promoting, like, people's music, you know, that aren't, like, signed to, like, Sony, yeah. you know, whatever labeled, like, independent music artists yeah. are my favorite. Yeah, like, that's that's one of the things. I, I, don't, I don't exactly see myself. I'm, I'm not trying to get, like, a, a record deal or anything. I just want to make music. Exactly. And put it out there for people it's to listen to. music for the sake of music. Yeah, and if you rock with it, cool. If you don't, hey, that's you. You know but what I mean? Still, it is like, what it is. There, there are just some people who just have the need to be creative, mm-hmm. and, like, you have that, and you need to just get it out yeah. and that's like your thing yeah. you know because like I find myself sometimes where it's like I'll go through these like little spurts where I'll get like these little ideas of not like music wise but like just creative anything like yeah. oh I'm gonna I'm gonna do this or like because I used to boring thing that I did at my job I used to design direct mail pieces and like I would have like the car dealers telling me like oh we want this 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 and this and they'd give me like the directions and then I'd be like okay and then like some days I'd be really creative with it and I'd be like, yeah, and I'd move all the stuff around and, like, you know, the colors and everything. And then other days, I'm, like, falling flat on my face. <laughs> but, like, but like for you, like, you just have that. Like, I only get it in little waves. It's like, I can only be creative, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All the other days, <laughs> I don't got it. But, like, I mean, musically, like, I used to play, but I wasn't very good. I mean, I was okay. Like, I knew, I knew how to play, um, but, like musically like making it sound like something not just I'm playing the notes on the yeah. page I always struggled with and like I just give props to anybody who could do it because like I'm a logical person so I'm logically trying to figure out how to play music <laughs> or how to write music 
and it just comes out sounding like crap. I I don't I can't I can't read me.